Okay, so we got a new part. That's the one that Rob designed actually through Proto Labs. No, no affiliation. It's the first time we use them, but they made the part really quick. Oh ho! Oh ho! I think we are going to have a pin insertion festival. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Wow. So what's the material? It's aluminum. Hmm. Okay, and that would obviously go back there. Fits right in. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> Yoo -hoo. Awesome. So that that's where we'll have the. The Samtech pins are here. I better start putting them in. Oh, the screws! Yeah, the screws I made yesterday. And another thing to do is an Apollo s uh, screw, uh, actually an AGC screw, which is a jacking screw. It, it pushes the connectors out and puts them in gently. We couldn't find the exact screw, uh, but we found a blank that's close enough on MacMaster, so I'll just machine it. 0.265 and 158. From there. And one Apollo jacking screw. present you with pseudo NASA washers. Production screw, reproduction washer, and that's the washer that the clip pushes against. Yeah, it fits exactly. That is perfect. And clip. Okay, another little victory. And here are my special screws. We just need the PCB from PCB way to show up. And Cal is pestering them. Cal is pestering because he's been sitting at 33 hours. <laughs> and grateful customers. And we pay, remember me, how much we pay for them? Well, I, I, would, I would have paid out of my pocket for the DHL. Uh, okay, so here we will have, uh, so this is a lot of pins actually, so we'll, we'll put a motor connector so we can uh, we can get cables that we don't have to wire ourselves right today. Mm -hmm. That should be good. Yeah. Cal just got PCBs. <laughs> and it's like hey, it's like feeding me to the lions. <laughs> don't don't cut your fingers. Slow down, slow down. Okay. All right. So here are PCBs that are designed to sit on this connector, plug into the AGC main um, I/O port, which has 360 pins on it, and connect it out via these standard 50-pin connectors that we can route to our other equipment. So, and the significance of that is that we're finally going to be able to plug all kind of things in our exactly. AGC as it was supposed to be in the first place. The rest of the spacecraft. Right. So not just PCBs, but we got a, a, a pen, we got a t-shirt. Trust me, I am a PCB wearer. I like the little rulers. So that's not all, we got a little 5th um, anniversary badge, we, we just need some little batteries. Alright, well because it's their 5th anniversary, I didn't realize they were so recent. Well thanks PCB Way again. Oh. Here is 
are connector plates and here is the PCB from PCB way so if you guys have been around for a while you will recognize those as the early SCSI 50 pin and you could still find them there you go and the idea then so, so the, then we have transformed that into a modern connector from which we can get modern cable and we don't have to do uh, the, these cut very well and then we, we can uh, wire a harness out of this without having to solder all kind of pins on the stuff so it'll go much faster so that's our modern implementation of the main connector and after days of cleaning we are ready to insert our connector All right, so what shall I working on, uh, Carl? So this is the patch panel. Cables are plugged from this into the connector on the AGC. Then we have access to every signal that we need. And, and it has a... Disc, a, IMU, PIPA, everything. It has a distinctive 1960s look to it. Yep, ground support equipment, 1960s. <laughs> Right, okay, we, we need to celebrate here. Carl, who has been working while I was I was digging in, into the module, so I, I didn't film anything. So we got our connector, the connector, and then he got his patch panel. panel from the 1960s. And guess what we have? We have a disky working. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the AGC, the AGC is on. Yeah. And uh, Mike is remote controlling it right now. He's doing the keyboard yep. because the keyboard module is the next to the bug. Testing it. Wow. All right. Boy, this refresh cycle is slow, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll jump over to Luminary after this. Yeah, and yeah where it does it a lot faster. So what are you using right now? This is Aurora 12. It works at the same speed that you expect relays to work, right? It goes click, oh. click, 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 click. Was as fast as yeah. the Luminary, signals are being sent. Luminary is, is much faster. <laughs> this is a slow printer. I, I sent you a new binary. Okay. Let me jump over to Luminary, uh, luminary first. Sure. And there is some there it goes. Unmistakable, un unmistakably Carl's wiring over there. <laughs> well, that's because somebody was going to wire up my cable hasn't gotten to it yet. Nope, I got sucked into yeah, in, into more archaeological digs into the module. Alright, all right, so let's go to Luminary 210. Mission time? Mission time? So he, he's going to try my Hello World program now. Yep. I've been trying to get Bitcoin mining working, but so far I've only succeeded in Hello World. So <laughs> AGC program is we are, we're step. impressed nevertheless. So it's a new rope. A new rope. There's, there's a Star Wars name, a new rope. <laughs> Episode 4, a new rope. So that's, that's our dis disky, disky version. Screen upside down. It says hello, 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 hello. Okay. All right. So this is this is hello world, the disc key way. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> Bye. Can our new AGC certified programmer extraordinaire? <laughs> wow. Whoa! It's all coming together.
Zero curve, 65, enter. Okay, there's a solution. Yep, there's the first part of the hash. And the second part, 